morning fireflies welcome back uh, today I've got a new project to share with you guys and I'm really excited to get started on this um, what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna make some slides because we know that's kind of the the thing that's happening right now and I wanted to show you guys another way to do this um, and I think you're going to really enjoy this. Alright, so getting started, you're going to need to print this out or something, an image that you like. Um, you're going to need some baking paper or parchment paper because uh, that way you can protect your ironing board. You need an iron and you're going to need beeswax. So, <clears throat> let me just get my iron on here. I'm sorry about the lighting guys. Um, I'm having to do this in the hallway because my studio is not big enough for the ironing board. So so I'm going to get the iron on probably uh, low low heat. Um, if, if for those of you who have not seen me do this technique before um, and this is new to you, you just want to have your iron on low heat. I personally would recommend you purchase a separate cheap inexpensive iron. I picked mine up brand new at the flea market for two pounds uh, which is equivalent to like two dollars and twenty-five cents. It's worked beautifully for me. That way just in case some of the um, wax seeps out you're not going to ruin your iron with it. So this is how the wax comes. Um, so you're just going to put a few of that spread across. You can always come back and add more, but just start out with a few because you'll be surprised how far this goes. And then just put your iron on there and you'll start to see that that is melting the beeswax into the paper. And what you're going to find with this is it's going to end up looking like vellum. Which is going to make it transparent so that you can make some uh, some slides. But we're going to tweak it slightly. We're going to make them um, some different shapes. Okay, so now I can see I'm going to need to add a bit more Save this sheet, uh, your baking paper, and I'll tell you why. Because the more you do this, um, I've started out with brand new baking paper, and so there was no wax buildup on it. But the more that you use this, you'll be left with a, a bit of wax on there, and so when you melt it, it's going to spread that more evenly as you start using this more and more. And as I said, try to keep the, um, the pellets spread out. You don't want it to get it too, too thick. It's just, you just want a very thin layer of it, but you do want to cover all of it. So it might take a few times for us to get that. And whatever you do, do not knock over your container of these. Wow, wow, wow. That's happened to me several times. I bumped the table or something, and um, what a mess that makes. <clears throat> All right, so let's see if I've got enough this time. And if you if you don't feel like that iron's hot enough, you can you know just adjust the heat. But I would start out with it low. And then you can increase it as needed. Yeah, I can see some of those are shifting off. This is what I'm talking about. You, you want to make sure you can protect your ironing board. I would normally have a towel under here just to catch any excess, but today I'm just going with it. So yeah, there's still a few places. 
So I want to make sure I get all of it because this is for the look that we're going for today. Now on my covers, I don't worry about it being completely covered because I think it's kind of nice not to. But for this technique, you're going to want to make sure you've got it all done. So let's add a bit more. I mean, you'll be surprised how little wax you actually use. So if you buy a bag of that, it's going to last you a very long time. I mean, the one bag, the first bag I had lasted me over a year. Um, so it's, a, it's, it's very economical to do this. And it just gives it a beautiful look. And the smell. I mean, the smell is so nice when that is melting. Okay, and as I said, now hang on to your baking sheet and just use that over and over again because it will leave, you can see, there's going to be a layer of that and that's going to help make that much easier the next time you go to do it. So, um, so this is how it looks. I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. And then we are going to carry on with the next step in this. And to, to dry, I'm talking about five minutes tops. Um, in fact, you can already see it's almost dry. So I'd sit, it, I'd sit it aside for a good five or ten minutes. And that's why another reason you don't want to put that on too thick. Okay? So now I'm going to move back into... Okay, guys, this is where we are now. You can see that that's become a lot more transparent and that's just a, a 80 pound or 80 GSM copy paper um, to, so I would definitely recommend don't use anything any heavier than that for this technique. Now the other thing you can do you can use napkin as well but today I wanted to uh, to showcase these because those are new digital that I've got in my shop and um, so I wanted to show you that even if you don't have napkins, you can still end up with this. Okay, so here we go. Um, so this is your traditional slide die. Um, I'm sure a lot of you have seen that. You can make it without the die. I've seen, you know, obviously you just cut a square and then cut in inside. So you don't have to have this die. But for this, these images, it wouldn't show enough to satisfy me, so I thought it would be fun to do some different shapes, and these are the ones I've come out with. This is an old uh, Stampin' Up! die. It's, it's long been retired, and then this is just one of the graduated oval die sets. Um, so my thinking is I'm going to cut this out, make a window, and then uh, probably do some embossing. And then that's going to show through. So <clears throat> let me grab my big shot here. So what you'll need to do is cut out whatever is going to be your frame. Cut out two of those images first. So let me grab this plate here. Um, the other reason I wanted to show this technique is a lot of people have struggled to find the transparent uh, tape. I've used in a lot of my window ideas, <clears throat> and I wanted to give you guys an alternative to that because um, the seller that I purchased it from is no longer selling, and absolutely every search that I have used has just, um, I've not been able to find it for you, so this is another way that you can, can end up with a a similar look. Don't you hate that when you find something you really, really like and then it's discontinued? Same goes for the Stampin' Up! supplies. Um, it's it's always frustrating because I the Stampin' Up! products I've got are all long retired and it's frustrating for people because they'll ask me where did where where can I get that <laughs> and of course you can't but um, 
Okay, so now I've got to make a decision if I want the window to go all the way through or if I want to have a solid back. And I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to go ahead and put the window straight through. And I just want to make sure I've got that centered. Let me zoom out a bit here. Center that as best I can. And then run that through. And always hang on to your cut, the, the pieces that you cut out, guys. You can see that slipped slightly. Now, if you wanted to just leave <clears throat> this one solid, it's going to provide you with a journal, you know, a journaling spot. But because I had done it this way, I kind of eliminated that. But see, I think that's going to be really pretty through there. So now I want to, I'm going to emboss the front piece just so we have some more texture. This is the Anna Griffin embossing, and I've had so many people inquire about that. Those I don't know if they're still available, guys. I, I bought those years ago. go with this one, this image here. So I want to get this cut out. And really the easiest way is going to be to just cut slightly larger. Yeah, I'm just going to cut it using another oval. Okay, before I put those together, let me just go ahead and distress around the edges here a bit.
and just put a little bit of glue around that oval that's been cut out and then just place that where you want it to show And then here, do the same thing here. Make sure you glue around that oval so that that's going to um, stick really well. i got so many projects planned, guys. I'm getting so hyped up again. Um, I just want to get on with... Uh, with getting them filmed for you. I hope that it's going to be some fun things for you to add some different elements to the journal. It's not easy to come up with uh, new ideas. And I'm not saying that they haven't been done again, but I'm hoping that it's going to be some things that maybe you guys have not seen. Now, if you had wanted... You could emboss the back side as well, but don't really think it's necessary. Just go around it with a little bit of ink, just to distress it slightly. The other thing I want to do is add an eyelet and something. What shall we add to it? Um, got some of this. Hang on, let me see. Where's my? I'm trying to find my ribbon, guys. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Yeah, that's. It was pink. But now it's it's ended up this beautiful, they call this color um, prickly pear, and it's just beautiful, beautiful shade. So I think what I want to do, let me get my eyelid in here. And I'm going to put the eyelid just a little bit. Okay, before I finish that off, let me grab a, let me see what I've done with that, my little tiny tags. Just one second, guys. Hmm, I thought I had some. Oh yeah, here we go. Big, isn't it? Okay, let's see what we got. That would work, I think. Actually, I think the, the circles. Oh, I don't know, maybe both. That'd be kind of pretty to have both up in there. I think I'll do that. Mm, I 
Okay. All right, let me get my stamps, guys. See what if, if I've got a word. I'm just thinking a word or something here. I'm kind of thinking a little butterfly. Let me just see. Yeah, I think I want the little butterfly on that <coughs> circle one. And I need something there. Yeah, I like, I like this. Okay, let me... Okay, so you can see it's just a little rose with a squiggly line underneath. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to think if I want to do something else. With him or just leave him. I think I'll just leave it like that. Actually, I just got this rose gold. Let me see if I put a little bit to add a little bit of, oof, I don't know, I got too much, ooh. don't you hate it when you do that and you're like, oh, I really wish I had done that, maybe I could tone him down, yeah, that's fine, it's just subtle, very subtle, in fact, I might put a little bit. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm afraid it's going to take away from that there. Okay, sorry, I just had to try that, guys. <laughs> okay, let me get this little butterfly on here. And then, let's see, what else do we need to do here? This is where you wish you had <coughs> four or five hands because it's difficult to do sometimes with just two. There you go. That'll be all right. 
Yeah, that's yeah, that's cute. Okay. I was afraid of getting too much. I didn't want to take away from the the image because it's such a pretty, pretty image. So there it is, guys. That's how it's come out. And then on the back, you can still see the image through. And I just think, let me get my, I don't know if I've got a pocket in here yet. <clears throat> yep, there we go. So you can see in that pocket, you're going to be able to see the words behind that. Isn't that beautiful? So there you go, guys. This is another way <clears throat> that if you can't get your hand on the transparent um, tape, that you can make your own. And as I said, you could do this any shape. I just thought it would be really fun to play with something in a, in a different shape other than the, um, the traditional slide. Because some images, as I said, will not... Um, You'd lose too much of the images on, on what I've got for with it. So it's fun to do something a little bit different. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. If you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, let me just show you. Um, this is how your beeswax can be purchased. Um, again, I don't work with Amazon anymore, so... Um, this is a, a UK company, so I don't know, guys. You'll just have to do some research. Um, but try to buy something that's, that's, you know, made in your own country, if you can, to support our businesses. Um, but that's how you can purchase this. So just do a, a, a search for beeswax beads, and then I would say you want to make sure you get a good quality, um, you don't want to have any kind of chemicals that have been added to it or anything. Um, because when you're melting that, you are breathing that. So do just, you know, just little things to think about because I know myself I'm guilty of it. When I get to crafting, um, I'm not being that conscious about what's going on in my space. And uh, the Fabri-Tac, for sure, I'm trying to use up because I'm convinced... Um, that that's been bad for me. So, anyways, I'll shut up about it. You guys all are adults. You know what you're doing. So, okay. Thank you guys so much. Um, have a great week. And I will be back very soon. I've got more projects. So excited, guys. So, take care. See you soon.